All right, welcome to module 59. We're gonna do some object removal in the color page. So I have this clip here with some boats and a couple of people jogging on the beach here. And we're gonna use the uh, patch replacer to get rid of these people in the shot. Let's uh, head over to the start of the shot. We're gonna do this in nodes. So the first node will be, we'll just call it person one. I'm gonna move over to the tracker but we're gonna to move to effects instead of a window. So under effects, we're gonna click down here on this bottom left, and we're gonna get this little blue crosshair is gonna pop up. And how this works is with a high contrast area. So since this guy happens to be on the beach, that works pretty well for us since he's wearing black and uh, it'll help pinpoint it. So I'll just go here and then we're going to hit track. And I kind of shortened the clip so it goes a little longer, but you get the idea. I didn't want to take forever on this tutorial to do the actual duration. But you can see it's bouncing along with the subject. And now we have a good track if we kind of review through. Locks on pretty good. So now over in the effects, we're going to type in patch and on this node one, we're going to drop patch replacer right on there. So now we get these two boxes over here. One is like your copy and the other one's like a paste. And then the controls, you can change the shape of it. Um, you can actually use this with other windows too. But for now, what we're going to do is a good rule of thumb is to copy what's right next to whatever you're trying to erase. So. I'm going to make this roughly the size of this person. And then what we want to pay attention to is this little line inside where it's copying from here. We're just going to go here and kind of line them up together and then move around a little bit. And we're keeping an eye on this area right here. And I could see a little bit of uh, an outline there. So let's mess with some of our settings. We can crank up blur edges a little bit. I'm actually gonna send my video out to a bigger monitor so I could look at it. I'm gonna try wrap around on the border type. So that doesn't look too bad. Might go a little bit bigger. And we can like move this copy. See as we move closer to where the subject comes in, we, we could just get just out of frame and try to line it up. And then let's see what that looks like. Still kind of bouncing a little bit in and out on this guy. So I think, I think we can go a little bit taller on this. And they are connected. So as soon as you drag one, they both kind of resize to the same. So now I'm just lining up some of the shape of the sand. So now if we go back to the start of the clip here, that doesn't look too bad for a, uh, uh, quick one. So there's our first person. We're going to add another node here with option S. Then we're going to pretty much do the same thing. So effects, I'm going to add this interactive tracker, place it on that subject and hit track. So that way we get a nice lock on this person. Going to track backwards. So let's go ahead and drop a patch replacer on the second node here. And we'll size it down. And like I said, we're going to get kind of close to the subject and just cover right over them. So I'll zoom in here on our preview window, make it work a little better. There we go. Yeah, it still doesn't want to cooperate with me. Maybe it's dirty, who knows? Okay, so with our less than perfect view here, so see how we get a little line in the sand where somebody's been walking or the shore kind of built up the sand right here? I want to get that line to match up on our copied portion. So it might go a little bit bigger. Come back just 
just a hair. And this is where the external monitor comes in, where you can really look at a blown up view. All right, that looks pretty decent. Let's uh, reset our view here and zoom out. It's got a little bit of an offset line here still. So let's uh, lower that down just a notch. And there's a couple more adjustments we could do. So you have like variability and that'll kind of change what it's sampling. You can do different modes. You can blur the edges and you can change how the border interacts with it and how it's gonna replace the edges. It's gonna line that up to the, the edge. That's not too bad. Probably blur the edges a bit more. Let's see what that looks like. So this is if we're really like zoning in. I can see a little bit of movement, but it's not too bad. So now let's go back to the start here and we're gonna add one more node in for these boats at the start here. All right, so let's label this one and let's add that second or third node, I should say in. So now this one will be boats. And this will be a lot faster. So same thing, we're on the effects, we hit this interactive tracker, move it over to the boats, and track it. And it's gonna go off screen pretty quick anyway. There we go. So good track, patch replacer on, shrink it on down. Let's go right next to the boats and right over the boats. Let's see what that looks like. Not too shabby. And that's that. We can probably play through just to make sure everything looks good. I'm gonna turn this overlay off so we can just look. And we'll take a full screen. So if you colored this, maybe added some gradient. There's a slight reflection down here of him jogging. Off the water line I can see. I guess if you're nitpicking. So you could do another pass on just that reflection. And that one might actually be a little trickier to do. As you can see right here, so let's turn this first note off. And he comes back, and you can see right there. So let's try this out. I don't know how well it's going to track because it's pretty low contrast. You could actually increase the size a bit. But let's see what this looks like, if that helps on the reflection now. It's got to re-render, so it's going to play back a little slow. We're not quite, like, down in there. So I wonder, let's just... Uh, Stretch this out just a little more. This might be a good use for square. All right, that kind of gets rid of the reflection, but we got like a weird edge. So I, I'd probably play with it a little bit more. And then I could see a little funkiness right on the secondary node. I believe that's person number two. Well, actually, because we stretched it, now we're getting like some weird lines there. But you get it. You could always replace that patch. All 
Let's just take a look here again. We're not going to get a uh, great playback yet just because you can see our nodes are red. That means it has to go through and cache out the uh, patch replacer. We could always render it, but they turn blue whenever they're done, uh, like caching all that into memory. So that's essentially how you can patch replace sections in your clip to have people in your shot to nobody in your shot. And yeah, I could see part person number two here. It's kind of off. A little misaligned. So I might want to just lower it to about there. And maybe squeeze it in a little more. Until we start to see that person in there. See a little bit of a shift. But not too bad, especially zoomed in. If you can zoom in and make it look good, it usually looks pretty good when you zoom out. So, all right, that's how you patch replace in the color page and uh, track the effects instead of the window. All right, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.